should be live. Uh, we're playing a new war game today. Uh, it's not new, but it's new to the Robert's Reviews channel stream thing, so that's exciting. Let me just share this on the interwebs. And, uh, we'll get to playing. Yeah? Sounds like fun to me. I is bored, so I figured it might as well. Uh, this might be a little loud, so I'll try to change that once we start to the actual stream. Um, should be able to get that going. It would be nice. Got, we got audio, we got video, it looks like, so let me turn the volume down on this. Uh, I do have live chat up and functioning. If you want to stop by and say hello, please feel free to do so. Uh, let me see what I can do about making this a little quieter here. Um, is this rebirth? I'm broke, so I'm trying not to spend too much money. I don't have to. I guess you don't need the mouse at all. Options, music. That's my better, I think. I wish I was like a half here, because this, this is a little too loud. Whatever. Um, no biggie. Full screen on. Yes! Alright, great, grand, wonderful. Um, I guess we'll do a new run. I guess we play as Isaac, so we'll play as Isaac. I don't know the controls really, because I've only ever played on my Switch, so. Um, are there controls? No. Looks like you just gotta figure it out. Okay. Okay, I got a coin, I got a coin. Let's go. Okay. Some lard. HP up. Let's go. Okay. Um. I really don't know any other controls for this. My mom is watching. Um. Hello. How are you? I'm playing a video game. Uh. That I have not played in quite a little bit of time, actually. Um. And I don't know the controls on PC at all. So we're really. Really just guessing here. And that's okay. Feel free to say hello in the chat if you're watching. Um. I do have it up and active. So that's always fun. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, these guys are pretty easy. Right. Okay, so I see that the X here. Question is, is which? Okay, E is bump. E is bump. What is pill? Q is pill. E is bomb, Q is pill. Okay. And speed down is really bad right now. Ah, uh, we're against the fasty boys. Alright, no biggie. Why do I have so much health? And why do I not have so much health? I feel like I have more health than I thought in terms of a maximum health, but I have way less health in terms of... Like, I don't think I got hurt yet, did I? Oh, please, please, please. 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 Please, please, hit, 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 hit. Thank God. Okay, um, I'm not seeing anything of importance here. I don't really want to do that. I guess tab is fine. Yeah, tab is, tab is map. My tab button's sticky. Um, anyway, uh, I guess I don't really have a reason to not go fight the boss right now. Larry Jr., here we go. Not too bad. Um, I believe the stone one you can't hurt. So I'm going to try to ignore that as much as possible and focus my efforts on the fleshy boy. Ooh. Uh. Whoa, that was luck. Uh. Okay, everything's fine. I'm actually going to throw that.
Thanks for the spawn, boy. If you're watching, feel free to say hello in the chat. I do have the live chat active. I should be able to see it live, so that would be cool. I right, got one of the one of the bad boys done. Okay, both the bad boys are done. Let me show you the little little guys now, uh, which arguably are more annoying than Larry himself, but that's okay. Um, I'm the main reason I've been streaming a lot is I've been trying to get used to keyboard gaming and like PC gaming because I am notoriously bad at it. Uh, so this is helping me get used to WSAD and keyboards control thing stuff. Speed up, range up. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, um, range up is good, but uh, sure could use some speed. I'll take a sip out of my Soda Stream strawberry bubble. We'll go down. Um, hello to anybody who's joining the stream. Uh, welcome to the stream. We're playing the Binding of Isaac. Feel free to say hello in the chat anytime you'd like. Uh, I don't really know if anyone's watching, but if you are, hello. Um, playing the Binding of Isaac. Uh, first time on the PC. So I played it for a bit on Steam Link, and then I have it. I have it. I have it on my Switch, uh, but I don't use my Switch like at all. I also can't stream from my Switch without a capture card and it's not worth buying a capture card yet. I'll probably buy a capture card after I get a PS because I'm going to want to stream Spider-Man as much as possible. But that is a much later problem because I don't even have a PS. So. Alright. Uh, Q is pill. I want to wait to use pill to get in the next room. And then we'll use pill. Are you a wizard? Looks like she really bad for you now. Also that title card was in the worst position possible. Okay, good. Are you a wizard just makes your face go sideways and it's really freaking annoying. Um, not, not undoable though, like it's certainly fine, all things considered. Um, I just gotta get in here without dying to these little guys. Okay. Um, just a little full health, which means we probably haven't lost any, any, like red hearts yet, so. That's good. Um. Okay, whoa. Oh. Ah, you kidding me? I'm so sad. My chance for a double room just went down a lot. No biggie, though. I feel like my speed increased at some point. I feel faster. Like, I know it didn't, but I feel faster. I'd like to find the item room. It should be soon. I should have probably moved that if I could have pushed it against the wall. Item room, let's go! Alright, cool, 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 cool. Hopefully it's something good because I need stuff. Perfect. Okay. Okay. There's almost never anything in the poop, but it's, it's worth checking out. Um, I can't remember this day. That was it. Health up that it gave me? Yo, and damage up, let's go! That's really good. Okay, um, that's like best case scenario. Except I, I could use some. Um, ah, see, there's a soul heart over there that almost seems worth trying to get to, but not with one bomb. If I had one bomb, if I had two bombs, I'd probably place one here and then get those coins, place one over there and get that chest. But that's if I can find another bomb. If I find another bomb, I'll do it. But if I don't, then I won't. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a predicament there. I deserve that. That's all on me. Okay. Alright, not too bad so far. Hopefully we find a bomb here. We didn't, okay, um, and there's no other rooms available, so you can't find a bomb anywhere, that really sucks, I kind of hoping to find one, but, uh, alas, we did not, so we will move on, fight Monstro real quick, not too bad, although I'm much worse at dodging on the keyboard, so we'll see how close, 
Oh, what's up, Tops and Prats? How's it going, man? Uh, welcome to the stream. We're playing Binding of Isaac. A little different than my typical movie review, but I like streaming a lot. Uh, just when I'm, I'm feeling stressed, I usually like to stream. And uh, we're entering finals week. So instead of, uh, you know, studying, I'm, I'm playing video games. Um, and that's okay. Uh, we're doing okay in school so far. Um, I have an A in everything. So I just gotta make sure I study a little bit before the actual tests. And uh, we'll be okay. Hopefully, easier. Uh, Monstrous Tooth. Monstro's Tooth. That makes sense. Alright, we got some underwear. Alright, range up. That's pretty good. We'll take some range. Um, yeah, yeah. Things are things are going well, man. Um, so far. We'll see how uh, the week goes, but we got some cool stuff coming up. We got some cool stuff planned. I'll be, uh, yeah, studying hard is not something I, uh, I'm known for, actually. <laughs> um, just, uh, it's not that I'm not, like, I, I, just, I, I, don't, I don't study very much. I'm not a studier. I really should, because I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, I think I'm going to be okay. Uh, I'll study a little bit uh, when it gets a little closer, because that would be another thing. Uh, am I excited to see the new Spider-Man movie? Uh, yeah, No Way Home looks freaking awesome. I don't know if you know this, but I work in a movie theater. Um, so I get to see it a little early, actually, which is really cool. I get to watch it on the 15th. Um, so like, I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I'm excited for Don't Look Up as well. I don't know if you've heard about that one. It's a Netflix original uh, that we're actually getting in our movie theater, which is really cool. Uh, it's got Leonardo DiCaprio in it. And uh, if you watch the channel long enough, you know I love me some Leonardo DiCaprio. So, and Timothy Chalamet, of course. So I'm really... Really pumped for that. I'm watching that Wednesday night, so uh, I'll have a movie for that on Thursday. I checked, uh, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, it's really lucky. I, I really do. I'm blessed to have this job that I have because it's not only is it like really good for the channel, it's just really nice, and I love the, like, the employees there are fantastic. It's really great. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the new Matrix movie. Um, Matrix reviews are next week, I think, so. Definitely be checking that out um, if you're interested in the Matrix at all. Um, the new one comes out on the 22nd. Uh, same with the King's Man. Uh, I've already got Kingsman reviews on the channel for that. So, uh, what's up? Uh, hang on, I can't read your name because I'm focused. Uh, Kone, is it Konejo or Konejo? Welcome to the stream, regardless. Um, thanks for stopping by and watching. Appreciate you. We're playing the Binding of Isaac and talking about my job. I work at a movie theater um, in Oneonta. It's it's a blessing. It's so much fun. It's really great. We're talking about movies that are coming up. Um, I'd say Spider-Man is definitely my most favorite thing I'm looking forward to. But uh, I'm excited for a lot of stuff. I mean, we got um, uh, Belfast. I just checked out today. Actually, it's been out for a couple weeks, but we just got it this weekend, and I haven't been able to do it. So. Um, rabbit, in, rabbit in Spanish? That's so cool. Um, I feel like I knew that. I took a Spanish, well, I took many Spanish classes. Um, that's cool. I'm more familiar with chicken, with the pollo. <laughs> um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Um, appreciate you. I need to focus on this game, because I am taking stupid damage. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited for a lot of the movies coming out soon. Uh, I really am. Feel free to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and uh, especially if you like movie reviews, and that's what I do most of the time. Uh, I just stream video games on my off time when I'm trying to waste time. Um, I've had, like, really garbage sleeping schedules recently. Like, I've just been up until, like, 3 a.m. most nights, and uh, it's not it's not really good for me, actually. <laughs> Because I have a class at like 8 a.m., so it's it's that was close. Um, it's rough, but I've been uh, review the Rocky movies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I've got they have um next year they have uh, what's that uh, Michael B. Jordan series Creed? I think it, it's Creed. They have a new Creed movie, I believe, coming out next year. So I've got the Rocky movies on the schedule. I think it's in like August next year. So I'll be doing them. I will definitely be doing them around August. So they're on the schedule, I promise. I, I can't tell you exactly when it is, because I don't remember. Um, but it is on the schedule for uh, 
for 2022. So definitely subscribe if you want to check those out. I've actually I've seen the first one, uh, the first one with uh, Stallone in it. Yeah, um, when I was younger. My dad liked those movies, so we uh, we'd watch those. A lot of my movies that I like from from around that time period because my dad liked them, which is strange. Oh, I got double shot. Nice. Um, I do need my rest. Yeah, it's. You see, the issue is like I have like mad ADHD, uh, so like my brain doesn't stop doing things. Um, so I'm just like constantly awake, and it's really bad. Um, but I, I I also take naps in the middle of the day. And that's on me. That's entirely my fault. And that makes it a little harder to fall asleep at night. So I've been, uh, like, that's why, main, the main reason why I'm streaming today is so I don't fall asleep. Um, so that I can actually get some sleep tonight. Um, I need to film a bunch of reviews tomorrow. I've got, like, seven that I need to film. I'll have, uh, what day is tomorrow? Tuesday? So I'll have, I'll probably have Belfast come out tomorrow. I'm going to review for Belfast that just came out, so... Interested in that? Definitely stay tuned till tomorrow. Um, probably tomorrow around afternoonish. I'll probably. I gotta watch Sing still. I'm about halfway through Sing right now. I read it on YouTube. Because uh, Sing Two comes out on the 22nd, um, and I want to check that out at some point. So I've, uh, I'm beginning the first movie. I used to watch it when I was younger. I mean, it came out when I was like 15 or something. But I remember going to my local movie theater and checking out Not Up there, So. I'm excited for the second one, although it doesn't look as good as the first one. Most of the time it's not. Um, it is Illumination. Uh, <laughs> if you're familiar with Illumination, uh, their biggest thing that they've done um, is uh, Despicable Me. And uh, I like the first movie a lot. I like the first Despicable Me movie a lot. And then they made the second one. The second one was just spicy garbage. So I'm expecting Sing 2 to be spicy garbage. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, all right, I want to go up. I think I think up is a good good spot to start. Ah. Double shots really helpful in this room actually. Ow! Cut out! Come on! Ah, one more shot. Okay, got him. It's one more shot. Yeah, I was right. Let's go. Okay. Um, let's go up again. Uh, I hate these skull These are probably my least right enemy, so I'm just really bad at dodging their bones. They're so fast. Look at that. I walked right into that. Ah. Oh, the blue pill from the Matrix. Okay. I, this is going to make me uh, forget the Matrix. I'm going to go over here. Man, I want to I use this pill, but... I make sure there's enemies around when I do it. There's no enemy. I need a key. Really bad, actually. Um, I know, I'd like to find a couple of keys if possible, but I definitely need to get into that item room because I need items. Um, okay, here we go. We'll use a key here. Oh, explosive diet. Very nice. Um, yep. Okay. Well, I got a key, so I got my wish, I guess. I think we're gonna do okay this run. This is actually my first run. On PC, I, I play on my Switch, but I have not played on my PC yet, so I'm excited about how well it's going so far, because <laughs> uh, I, I did not expect to be this good at it um, on keyboard. What's this dude? Poison Tears? Cool. Whoa, they're all poisonous. That's really helpful, actually. That's really, really good. If you're just tuning in, uh, feel free to say hello in the chat. We're playing... Uh, the Binding of Isaac today, so uh, we're having a good time just chilling in the chat and playing a video game. Talking about school and talking about work and just dishing, so it's we're having a good time. Oh boy, well, I'm gonna stay right here. This is a very good spot for me right now. <laughs> um, can they not shoot? shoot me? Oh, great. I want that key, but I can't get that key. Uh, oh, he can't shoot me. Ooh, I was just really lucky. Heath, let's go get the chesty chest. Uh, maybe I should save it from. I'm not gonna save it. I wanna save it from this chest. A lot of times in these golden chests, you'll actually just find more keys, so. Ooh. That's nice. How do I use that? I feel like it's worth trying to figure that out now. 
It's not Q, it's not E. Ah! Oh, F is full screen. <laughs> Uh, what does spacebar do? Oh, okay, spacebar. It's spacebar. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we've learned it is spacebar. Um, oh, that's almost worth it. It's not, but it almost is. I need to make sure I charge my thing. Uh, what is, yeah, it's a fun game. So the, the idea is, like, his mom, like, banishes him to a basement, and he's, like, fighting this thing. I, I imagine it's probably all in his head, but, uh... It's a cool game. I like it a lot. I did just buy it for this. Uh, cause I need to get better at PC gaming. I like to, I like to game with my friends, and I'm just, I can only play, like, Minecraft. And, like, I just, I just bought Raft, cause I thought it was a cool game. And it's a really fun game. You should stop by when I'm streaming Raft sometime. That's, that's a really fun game. It's just, like, survival. I like it a lot. Is anybody else here watch Survivor? The, the television show? Or is that just me and my mom? Me and my mom watch Survivor together. That's like our thing. And uh, this season is phenomenal so far. Like it is definitely my favorite season of Survivor so far uh, since Malcolm was on it. Um, if you don't watch Survivor, I really recommend you do. It's on. Uh, you can stream it on Paramount Plus and catch up if you're interested. But it's a live action. It's not live action. Well, it is live action, but. Uh, Oh, dude, Fear Factor is so good. They have that on... Oh, there's a streaming service that has it. Uh, I forget what it is. It might be Hulu that has Fear Factor on it every season. And uh, I binge-watched a little bit of that. Uh, I used to watch a lot when I was younger. Oh, little chubby appeared. Cool. Um, and I... Ah, I loved that. Malcolm in the Middle! Ah, I love Malcolm in the Middle. Now, in Survivor, there was a guy named Malcolm that was on for two or three seasons. And uh, he was really cool. Malcolm in the Middle is really good, though. Uh, with Frank Munez, Brian Cranston. Ah, dude, I used to binge that show all the time. I wonder if that's streaming anywhere. If that's streaming anywhere, I'll probably rewatch that because that's probably my favorite sitcom. And I like to binge sitcoms over breaks. So maybe I'll binge that. And then once January starts, I'll watch The Wire. But yeah, no, I grew up on Malcolm in the Middle. I grew up on. Um. Drake and Josh. You ever watch Drake and Josh? Um, I was obsessed with Drake and Josh. I Carly when that came out, but it, was, it started with Drake and Josh, and then I think it moved to Malcolm in the Middle. Cause the thing about Malcolm in the Middle was it wasn't one of those shows that kids were really supposed to watch, but uh, it was strategically placed. Ow! Um, in a moment where oh, I forgot these things shoot you. Um, where like when parents would fall asleep watching adult television, uh, like Nick at Night. Um, it would uh, it would appear in the morning, and you would watch that before like the bus came. Uh, yeah, the channel is getting much bigger, dude. It's so great. We're we're at um, we're at two oh four as last I checked. Um, it's crazy. Make sure to stay tuned for um, New Year's Eve on the thirty first uh, from one to nine Eastern Standard Time. We're doing uh, we're uh, we're gonna be doing a. Uh, a live stream celebrating 200 subscribers for eight hours and be a lot of fun. Uh, Reese was your favorite character? That's absolutely fair. Reese was fantastic. Uh, I liked him a lot. The older brother was really great. Um, Dewey was was kind of my least favorite character. I just thought he was kind of a waste um, until the later seasons. It got pretty good. Brian Cranston was my favorite character. The dad in that show, he's just like my dad. So like, I mean, it, it's it's fantastic. He's just a loosey goosey kind of guy. Who just like living his own life? <laughs> like I just I love that guy, and of course Malcolm himself is a great character. Um, I tried to like base my life off of that character, and so far so good I guess. Um, yeah, I, I I love that. I love The Office as well. That's probably my favorite like sitcomy show. Um, I just I could that's such a rewatchable show for me. Um, but definitely I think the most rewatchable. Um, is The Office, and I think my like my, one of my least favorite sitcoms. I never got into Friends. That was like the one sitcom I tried and couldn't get into. Seinfeld's okay, but I've never watched all of it. Um, Friends is is fine. I like a couple of the characters. I love Joey. Uh, I like Chandler. All the characters are great. It's just I don't think they work particularly well together in comparison to the, some of the other sitcoms that are better. Um, I do love. There's like one episode where they're moving the couch. And, uh, what's his face is, uh, he's like, Pivot! Like, I love that episode. That episode's great. 
Um, I wish it was more like that in the actual show, but alas. Oh, we're... Mm. Uh, it's never good to hear that sound in this game because it's really frustrating to try to kill these guys. Okay, cool, we got it, we got it. Um, I need to make sure I get some more health before I fight this boss because I don't know who the boss is. I hope it's not Mom because if it's Mom, we're kind of fucked for this run, but that's not a huge deal. I remember I had the space bar I should use at some point, but I don't think it's worth using here because these guys should be fine because I'm poisoning them all. Um... Nice. What's this mushroom do? Touchy, fuzzy, get dizzy. Okay. Uh, oh, I got some explosive that really good. Um, you'll be here for the... Nice! Awesome! That's awesome. Good to hear. I'm really excited about it. I got so many fun things planned. You guys have no idea. I'm so excited. Uh, Cobra Kai Season 4 is I know. Yeah. I, I've never gotten into Cobra Kai. Um, I'm, I'm one of those guys. I'm really weird when it comes to TV shows. Um, I don't like watching TV shows when they're popular. And it's not even, like, a choice for me. It's just a really weird, like, phenomenon with me is, like... Like, the only show that I've actually watched when it was popular was Squid Game. That's really it. Um, every other show, it's it's usually, like, I'll wait till it's canceled and then I'll watch it. Which doesn't make any sense because you'll never... You know, the show's gone. You, you, you There's no point to watch it at that point. Um, are these supposed to be, like, designed off, like, pumpkin bombs? That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, ah, I'm really frustrated with, uh, with myself in that aspect. Uh, some cute girls on Cobra Kai. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I assume. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you really, if you want cute girls on our show, I mean, Hawkeye, we got Haley Steinfeld on that. Um, I'm no, uh, I'm no simp, but I think I'd simp for Haley Steinfeld. Uh, which, by the way, if you guys haven't been watching Hawkeye, you should watch Hawkeye. Uh, it's it's so good so far. It's I think so far it's easily my favorite start to a Marvel show. Uh, we're only three episodes in, which is to be fair half of the show. Um, but there's some fantastic teases in this show, and uh, it's just really freaking cool. Um, and I really like Haley Steinfeld's character. Uh, really, really well done so far. I'm I'm loving it. It gives Jeremy Renner actually something to do with his character, which is nice. Uh, and it makes Hawkeye, like, really likable. Like, he's one of my favorite Avengers now, and I, I never thought that would happen. Um, and I wasn't even looking forward to Hawkeye. I was like, it's gonna happen, it'll be fine. Um, Spider-Man's kind of been taking up most of my, uh, Marvel anticipation units. Um, although I gotta say, um, like, I, I'm, I'm a little sick of Marvel at this point. I'm kind of over it. Um, but, uh, that's okay. Uh, explosive diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, so that that button when I click it, uh, you'll see a bunch of bombs come out of my ass, and uh, yeah, it can be painful. <laughs> uh, ooh, a chesty chest. I need hearts, man. I got two hearts. I need more. Let's look at these small rooms, maybe. Um, okay, we'll do that. Um, that was my cat's cradle thing. I think it's what it's called. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we got a key. Keys are nice. Keys can be helpful. Might be worth visiting the store, actually. But, uh, oh, we do know that that's over there. Okay. We'll actually head down there then. Um, the item room is a free item if you have a key, so it's always worth going in there. Um, these guys suck. Uh, they suck a lot. <laughs> uh, we'll see if we can get this without taking any damage. But so far, so good, so that's nice. Um,. Hey, um, over here is a purple guy. He's stronger, and I think he drops hearts when he dies. He didn't, so that's really, that really sucks. <laughs> um, uh, okay, here we go. Woo! Okay. Uh, we're gonna bomb. That's fine. Bombs are fine. I'm okay with having bombs. Uh, ooh. Shielded tears. Wow, they're gigantic. This is really good for range purposes. Uh, aiming purposes, I guess I should say. Now that's the whole freaking thing. I'll probably just stop by that one room in case there's a heart in it. Um, and hopefully there's nothing too bad. Uh, oh, great. Um, actually not too bad. We're doing really well. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, we got a heart. That's that's good. Um, two hearts? Nope. What's this do? 
That was really scary. I thought I was about to lose all my health, but no, we're good. Um, we only have two hearts to fight whatever boss this is, and if it's mom, we're just done. We'll start a challenge round after that, probably, uh, just because they're fun. Uh, I think that'll be really fun to stream. Uh, I hope you guys can see me, by the way. I don't know if the lighting's good. Um, I'm using my garbage camera because my phone, I'm using my phone for live chat, so I have to use my old webcam, and it's not good. Okay, Monster 2, we should be able to live. This shouldn't be too bad. I studied this guy's patterns. This should be okay. I don't think it's worth using my explosive diarrhea on this guy. Um, but, uh, yeah. He takes some time to kill, but I think we'll be okay. I think if I use my shielded tear, yeah, my shielded tears make it so that I can't get hit by, like, incoming blood bullets. Uh, so long as I'm constantly shooting. So that sounds like a plan. Stan. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, that's my bad. I'm an idiot. Okay, here we go. Um, alright, he's halfway, he's halfway, we're doing great, okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, um, oh, that was close, I didn't even see that coming, that was an accident that I dodged, that was really good, that's my bad, I was itching my nose, uh, oh no, oh god, we're so close to dying, oh god, come on, come on, let's go, we lived, <laughs> Okay, uh, ooh, that's, that's HP up. Grab the HP up. Does it heal as well? I want Magdalene, that's pretty cool. And, uh, the tank, okay. And Cursed. Uh, and we did get an extra heart, that's really good. Uh, whew, Foop is right. I was very close. Um, that was very scary, I think I deserve some bubbly. There we go. Mmm. In case you guys didn't know, um, I love seltzer. It's another weird quirk of mine, but it's a quirk that I love because it's really healthy for you. Um, I like only drink seltzer, and I'm I'm all for it. I I love me some seltzer, some bubbly, some Lacroix. I mean, that's just that's just what I love. I love that stuff. Uh, is is that out? No, it is not alcohol. No. Nope. Um, I am too young for alcohol. I'm only 20. Um, I'll be 21 in March, though. Um, so then I'll, I'll have alcohol in that. Um, I probably won't stream with alcohol, though. I think it might be illegal to stream uh, while drinking alcohol. I don't know what the laws are like on that, because I don't. they don't pertain to me. Um, but I will... I'll make sure that I do it legally. Not that I haven't drank before, because I'd be lying and everyone would be lying if they said I didn't. Um, but I haven't without, like, parental permission yet. Um, which I'm sure, again, I probably will before I'm 21, but... Um, we'll be okay, probably. I turned 21 in, like, less than three months, so it's... Not really a waiting game, anyway, and I'll be busy with school to the point where I want to be... Like, recognizing that I'm old enough at that point, so... Nothing I'm too particularly worried about. Um, but yeah, no, this, this this here is not alcohol. It's um, it's just water with carbon in it. Um, the, the air stuff. Um, I have a soda stream, so I can make my own seltzer, and it's a lot cheaper than buying seltzer. And I'm addicted to seltzer, so I have to drink it. Um, but there's like there's no calories, there's no sugar. Um, it's just water, so it's really good for you. Um, and that's what I drink. Which most people don't drink that stuff because they find it nasty, but I love it. It's, again, another weird quirk I have. I have a lot of really weird quirks, but I like them. Uh, I look really... Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I am... I, I like to think I have a baby face, but that's mainly because I'm just fat. Um, and that's okay. I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be 21 soon. Uh, it's, it's a fact I have to live with. Um, I realize, uh, and I bet you are as well, uh, Topsy Pets, um, you seem like you're probably around my age, but, like, when I'm older, if I ever have kids, I have to tell my kids I graduated in the 20s. That scares me. That scares me to death. I'm like, I don't want to tell my kids I graduated in the 20s. Um, it's like, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> something I'm going to have to live with. I'm going to have to come to terms with that, but I don't think I'll ever have kids, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but, like, that's some scary stuff. Um, 
that's something I told a friend of mine earlier uh, today. I, was, I said, here are, my, uh, here are my top three worst fears, okay? Are you ready for this? This is important. Um, my top three fears. Uh, fear number one, spiders. Spiders are horrifying. It's irrational. I'm aware. I don't care. Um, spiders are horrifying. I, I, to this day, I scream when I see a spider. Um, number two, getting my fingers stuck in things. I am horrified that, like, if I, like, I don't want to wear rings ever because I'm horrified I'm going to get my fingers stuck in it and never get it out. That scares me a ton. Um, and then three is telling my grandkids I graduated in the 20s, which then my friend was like, so you're saying you're afraid of being old? And I said, you know what? Yes. I am. I am a little afraid of being old um, because I am a very physical person. I'm not a physically active person, that's for sure. But I'm a very physical person. Like I talk with like my whole body. I like to move around. I like to. But at the same time, like most of the time, I'm sitting down. Like I'm. I literally just like sit down at uh, at my TV and I'm watching movies. That's like literally like, half of what I do, and that's great. I love it, but like it's not really good for me. Um, Let's see. Uh, you hate spiders. You hate yeah, I know. I know. I think actually, it's it's certainly possible that the reason I'm scared of spiders is because of the original Sam Raimi trilogy. Um, I, I still don't like the scene where that spider crawls down and bites his hand. I think it scares me. And that that came out in 2002. I was one year old, and uh, I, I of course I don't remember watching it. I was one year old, but like I remember watching the second one and the third one. I remember vividly watching. Spider-Man 3 in 2007, I think it was, that it came out. Um, in the theater, in the drive-in theater, I watched it. Um, I have an extra life. This is so cool. Um, so, like, I don't know. I, um... I... Uh, I don't like spiders at all. It's... It's strange. It really is strange. Because, like, I have Spider-Man, like, plastered on my wall and everything. And, like, I don't really have a problem watching his movies, but, like... I don't know. It's really strange. Oh, that might be worth a bomb, actually. I think this is probably worth a bomb. We'll place a bomb here. Um, I think it's Q is a bomb? No, E is bomb. Yes, E is bomb. Good. All right, what's the card say? Damn it, it's Joker. Um, I'll take Joker. I think this one, like, teleports you somewhere, so we'll keep that. We'll keep that for later. A review Eight-Legged Freak with David Arquette. Oh, is that a spider movie? I will. I will watch a spider movie. Um, I'll be scared the whole time. And I might not watch half of it, but I'll review it. Um, I The other day, actually, my boss at work uh, has been lending me movies to watch. And I've been reviewing them on the channel. Um, so I reviewed... Um, the Killing of a Sacred Deer, which is a great movie, by the way. Um... Uh, and, uh, Enemy. And Enemy is, like, it's got spiders in it. And I didn't know about it, and I watched, and I was freaking out. Um, I was like, you gotta tell me if there's gonna be a spider in a freaking movie. Um, and, uh, so I did that. I, I, he lent me, like, five more that I still haven't talked about on the channel. They'll be coming out this week, like, throughout the week and next week. Um, I, I have to film them. I don't think people realize how much work goes into, like, making a YouTube channel about reviewing movies. Uh, oh, I'm gonna die here. Um, but it's insane. It's an insane amount. Um, because, like, not only do I have to watch the movies, which most of them are, like, two, two and a half hours at this point, I also then have to film, edit, and upload the video. And that takes a lot of time. Like, it, it takes a lot of time to actually film, edit, and upload. It takes me about ten minutes per video just to film, and then editing it takes about ten, twenty minutes. And then I have to export it to YouTube, and, like, it's a whole process. Um, not that I don't like doing it, because I really do like doing it. Um, it's definitely a passion of mine, and hopefully at some point I'll get paid for it, and I can make it kind of a full-time job. Um, that's the goal, at least. We're 13.5% of the way towards making a profit on YouTube, which is incredible. Um, so thank you if you are subscribed at all, any of you. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's... I, I, I love what I do. I love watching movies. I love talking about movies. Uh, and I realize I'm probably not the best YouTuber for it. Like, I know, like, I'm not even my favorite movie reviewer. Like, I, I love to watch um, Chris Stuckman and uh, uh, Jeremy Johns. 
uh, they're really my like heroes. Like I grew up watching them on YouTube, and I was like, I bet I could do that. Um, and while yeah, I can. I'm not particularly the best at it. Uh, a break from YouTube if you have anyone. Yeah, I mean, I I have a weird relationship with like a break from YouTube uh, because for I think it was like seven or eight months. I uploaded every single day, and that was a lot. Um, so what I've been doing now is I don't I don't do it all the time. I I review on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then if I happen to watch any, anything extra, I, I put that on during the week, and that's totally fine. Um, and it, it's a reasonable schedule, I think. Um, but I might be doing a musical soon, uh, which I really I don't necessarily want to, but my friends kind of guilt me into doing it, so I'll probably end up doing it. Um, and that's gonna take a lot of time. I have a job that I have to, I have, to, I have bills I gotta pay. Um, and you know, as much as I'd like to do a break from YouTube, I will never break from YouTube. Even if I never make a profit, I'm always going to be making stuff for YouTube. Um, and the goal is like not only to do movie reviews, but at some point to be able to actively make short films and stuff like that. Um, like it's really a passion of mine to, um, to do that kind of thing and, and being able to do that through YouTube and not have to quit my job and not have to drop out of school would be great. Um, uh, Nate, how you doing? Um, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you're here. Um, I think we're doing a, a thing here at some point, Nate. Um, I think we're doing a... Uh, you said they're, they're having... They're having are, you, are you coming over Friday, Nate? I think... Cody was saying there are people coming over Friday. Um, I don't know if that's true, but I think I heard that. But I don't know. I don't know when I'll be home because I actually have an audition Friday night. But I'll be home Friday night if you want to like play something. I'm gonna do a challenge run. Uh, let's do. Uh, what is the tank? Do? Okay, cool. Um, I don't know. Oh, I'm really slow. Okay. Oh, because I'm a tank. Understandable. Uh, we can go ahead and use this now. Um, I don't have any bombs. This is impressive. I'm a tank. Okay. Oh, oh, heck yeah. I didn't realize I had stopped. Uh, audition? You're an actor? Oh, yeah, um... I have a fun story about that if you if you want to hear it. Um, so I do musicals quite a lot, or at least I, I guess I used to. Um, back in my hometown of Norwich, New York, I, I did a bunch of shows. Um, I used to do like four or five a year. Um, and I actually, when I first started going to college, um, if you watch my first college video uh, called Corona College, uh, my first semester, um, on my channel, uh, I talk about my first major was actually theater. I was a theater major at first. That only lasted one semester, though. But I, yeah, I did, uh, I did act. Uh, but the the main issue here is that uh, I have uh, in March of 2020, I was supposed to do a little show called Newsies, and Newsies is my favorite show of all time. Um, I love Newsies a lot. Um, and then COVID happened, and the week of our show, they canceled it. So I never got to perform that. Uh, and then now Oniana's doing it, and uh, I'm going to audition for them. And uh, if, I get, if I get the part that I want, which I was Jack Kelly, uh, which is like my part of my dreams, um, I'll do it. Um, even though it's going to be a huge sacrifice of my time, I'm going to do it. But if I don't get Jack, I'll probably not do it, just simply because... It's going to take a lot of time, and it's not necessarily worth it for me. And I hope that the people I audition for understand that, because it's not... Like, I don't, I don't want to be petty or anything. It's just I have very limited time, uh, and i, I got to make sure I spend it in the correct ways to maximize the things I want to do, because I'm not going to stop school. Like, I'm still going to be doing... Um, I'm still going to be doing uh, 15 credits... Uh, in school, and then I'm also going to have the job, I'll work at the theater ideally over the weekend, um, and I'm still going to upload uh, videos on here uh, at least three times a week, um, so I, I gotta, 
I gotta make sure there's an understanding there that it, if I don't get that part, I'm almost certainly just not going to do it. But I don't really want to do it, honestly. But my friend um, from work actually was saying that I really should. Um, and so she got me an audition, so I guess I'm gonna go audition for that. Um, and it's not that I don't want to be in the show, because I really do. It's just I've, I've got so many other things that I, I'm doing that it just feels like it might be more of a distraction than helpful. Because like, I'm not I'm not really an actor anymore. I don't act. I haven't been on stage in two years. Um, but yeah, I do, I do relate to the character a lot. I love the character of Jack Kelly. Um, I really hope that I can have a second shot at uh, portraying that character, but I live in a very competitive community in terms of liberal arts and performance, um, so I'm, I'm doubtful that I'll get it, but if I do, um, I'll let you know. I'll probably talk about it on my live stream because uh, um, I should know by then uh, if I'm going to be in it or not, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Acting does seem cool, but here's here's the main caveat with that. Um, like, I don't know where you're from, but I'm from a small town um, of Norwich, New York. Population, like, 30 people. Um, and when you're in a small town like that, like, acting is seems like a great thing because um, you want to be in, like, a big city and, like, all that. But then, you know, I moved over here to Oneonta, and I love it here. I really do. It's... Um, it's like a small community on steroids, and I love that. It's it's something that I can you know relate to you on a certain level. Um, it's just this, this sense of community. Uh, but in the city, you don't really get that, and that's kind of my issue. Is that if I want to be an actor, which at this point I would want to be a screen actor over stage acting, I would need to be in like California or New York, uh, or I guess in, in Atlanta or Texas at this point, um, Georgia. Um, and I'm just not interested. Uh, in living in those areas, and it's something down to that, um, which I thought was, I, I never really thought about until I started school, and then I was like, oh yeah, like if I want to actually seriously consider acting, I have to be okay with living somewhere else, and I, I, I realize that I'm not, I, I want to live in New York, um, I want to live in Oneonta forever, um, so I just, it's not something I'm necessarily interested in as a career, but definitely as a hobby. I mean, if there's ever a show that I'm stoked about, like, if they, have, if they do Dear Evan Hansen in the next couple of years, I'll probably do that while I'm still young enough to do that. Um, but it's certainly not uh, a career choice for me anymore, um, I've decided. Uh, now I've got, I've got a double major in media studies, uh, which is really uh, just a film major. Um, I'm, I'm tailoring it to be a film ma major, basically, because it's got a lot of uh, customization in the major itself. Um, and my second major is business economics uh, with a concentration in marketing, which I'm also like, really passionate about marketing. Um, for instance, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but Spider-Man No Way Home, the marketing for that has been incredible because they didn't have to do anything. Like, they literally are having the fans of the movie promote the movie by itself. Like, their marketing must be so cheap. And I think it's genius. Um, these are the kind of things I like to look at and study, uh, which I will say that the major is difficult. Like, it is hard to, like, understand a lot of the concepts, which is why I'm nervous for finals this week, because I don't really know what to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I like acting, but it doesn't seem like, uh, doesn't seem like something I'm going to do for, uh, the rest of my life here, I think. If there's ever anything like shooting locally, I guess I'd probably audition for like a background role or something. But uh, we want this. Does it seem better? All right, that's some Chongus. Is no big deal. I can back him on this corner and I can get that if I have to. All right, that went great. I forgot I can like walk in these things. Uh, yeah, that's great. Um, I'm, 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 I, I hope I'm entertaining enough. Um, I've got a lot of cool stories, um, if you wanted to hear anything. Um, yeah, I mean, I can, I can actually talk about talking, because 
part of my major has to do with communication. Uh, and really what it comes down to in terms of being a good speaker is you just have to be relatable. And like, I don't know, I feel like I'm a very relatable, I'm a very average person, is like the big thing. And like, no one really realizes that, I think, when you're watching a YouTube channel. Like, when I watch Mr. Beast, for example, I'm sure you all have heard of Mr. Beast at this point. Um, I watch Mr. Beast a lot because he's just a fantastic character. And that's really what Mr. Beast is, is a character. Uh, because behind, behind the thing, um, it's very much, you know, he's very different. And I, I'm very, like, I'm the same all around. Uh, Nate, is this whole game? Uh, no, it's not. This is just Afterbirth, I think it, or maybe it's just Rebirth, I think it's called. Um, the whole game was like $50, and I'm not, I can't pay for that right now. Um, but I can download the content, so I will do it at some point, but right now I'm just, just, uh, doing the OG game. Um, I really wanted to play, uh, the new one that just came out. What was it called? Um, I forget what it's called, but it was... Because I have this game, I have Afterbirth Plus on my Switch, but I can't stream it because I would need a capture card, and I don't, so. Um, but yeah, I will play the full game at some point. When I when I get bored of of this, I'll, I'll just buy the next DLC, and that'll be what I do, I think. Let's go down? Yeah, let's go down. Um, oh, we can see the secret room. It might be worth going to go do that real quick. Um, if anybody, like, if, if either any of you haven't seen this game before, uh, it's really fun. It's it's called The Binding of Isaac, and uh, I like it a lot. I've played it a lot on my Switch and the Steam Link, um, and I really like it. So I decided I'd stream it because it's definitely a game that I can like talk talk while playing. Which is not something I normally can do. <laughs> I guess I can, I'm just not very good at it. Um, but this game, I think I am doing a reasonable job of balancing uh, talking and looking at the chat and playing the game. So I think that's the main reason why I'm uh, streaming this. I have to go in one of these to get... Uh, okay, I guess we'll go in here. Um, I have eight coins. None of these seem helpful. Um, if you're wondering what that key is over there on the right... Uh, it unlocks every door in the floor without having to use a key, which isn't helpful because we've already unlocked all the doors. So, but we can go over here by doing the bomb button, which is E. That's the other room, and we got a key. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, we'll do this now, I think. Health up, yes. Oh, it's so good. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll use this, and then we'll go grab the battery, and that'll re refresh my spacebar item, and then I'll have an additional heart regeneration during the boss fight. That's the play. This is going well. Um, I don't know if I've done this one on my Switch before, but I don't think I have. Um, so this is going very well so far. Uh, Monstro, not too bad, not too bad. Hopefully it's just straight Monstro. Okay, that was my bad. I like this challenge. Being the tank is fun. Uh, the only issue is that I'm very slow. So dodging becomes more and more difficult. Um, the slower you are, of course. So, I don't know. Ah! I just got, I got a shipment of blue raisin today. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a, I'm a huge physical media collector. I love collecting Blu-rays and 4Ks. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me. Um, I, don't, I can't see my own camera, but I have a bookshelf back there. And I've got three and like a quarter entire shelves full of Blu-rays and 4Ks and steelbooks and stuff. And so I got, uh, today I got 20 in, and over the weekend I get 25 more from eBay. Which, I don't know if you guys ever use ebay but i just started using it recently and uh, let me tell you it's fantastic oh i got shot speed up that's so good um so yeah i got a ton of blu-rays in and i've got two copies of braveheart on steelbook uh, but one's 4k 25th anniversary and one's just regular blu-ray so it's nice to have both in that situation all right, here we go. We're gonna continue. What time is it? It's only 8.30? I thought it was like 11. Okay, 
I guess we'll play for a lot longer then. <laughs> I have no plans tonight. Uh, today was my final day of school, uh, not including finals, so I've just... I'm taking the day off, pretty much. Other than streaming, I still have to watch the rest of Sing 2. I have like an hour left. Uh, so, will you stop? Wow, okay. Um, so, I'll be... Uh, I'll do that later, but that can be... I can do that at like 10 or 11. So, I don't know. I'll just play until everyone leaves or I get tired. I'll probably just play for another hour or two. Ah! Uh, what's, the, what's my what's my thing do? I forget. Oh, perfect. If I can just hit something, great. That was fun. I probably should have saved that though. There we go. Um, all that for a key feels a little uh, feels a little sad. <laughs> um, sorry, I got distracted. Um, oh boy. So let me ask the chat, do you think, do you think Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are going to be in Spider-Man No Way Home? Do you think they're going to show up in that movie? Because no one knows yet. And I, I don't know, I don't really have a thought on it, whether I think they will or not, but I'm just wondering if chat has any thoughts on whether they think uh, he'll show up or not. Um... Everyone seems to have an opinion on it, so I thought maybe you guys would. Maybe you don't. Maybe you guys don't follow Spider-Man news, but uh, you do think so, Tom Spratz? Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, based on the evidence, I would also say that they're probably going to be in it, but it wouldn't really surprise me if they weren't, but I will be sad. Um, and I don't know. I mean, I get to see it early, which is really nice, because I don't have to wait, and I don't... It won't get spoiled for me in terms of, like... I, I was always really scared when I started working in movie theater that, like, somebody would spoil the movie as they walked out of the theater, but we get to see pretty much any movie we want um, early, so I haven't actually run into that problem yet. Um, but this was a big one. I was, like, I was really scared we weren't going to be able to watch it, but we are going to have a showing of that. I also really hope so. Yeah, I think that would be really sick. Um, do, I think it'll still be, like, I do want to put, like, on the record that if Toby and Andrew are not in the movie, I still think it's going to be a good movie. Like, I don't think, I don't think it's going to be a bad movie if they are not in it. But will it make it better if they are? I think it will. Um, they better be. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> that'd be really great. Um, I just feel like it's such a wasted opportunity if they're not in it. Like, it's, they have all the villains... But to be fair, it's not necessarily their fault. Like, I feel like Tobey Maguire might be a, uh, the kind of diva to be like, no, I don't want to be Spider-Man anymore. Like, I feel like it's <gasps> health up. <Ooh>. Um, <laughs> luck down. Um, yeah, excited for Goblin. Yeah, did you see the, the new character posters that came out? I think it was two days ago. Um, They're super cool. Um, super, super, super cool. Um, they're all super dope. But yeah, Goblin looks good. They just released a 4K image of Goblin, actually. Uh, I think it was yesterday um, with him without it, his mask. It looks really, really cool. Um, yeah, if Toby's in the movie, I bet he got paid handsomely. <laughs> um, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I... What just happened? Why? Is that a glitch that's happening? I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Anyway, um... Yeah, if Toby's in the movie, I'm sure he's gonna be paid a lot. But he's also getting a good amount of screen time. If the rumors are true, which I... I don't know. Uh, people are saying that he's in the movie for about 25 minutes, which is... Quite a long time. If you think that, um... I think that's not a lot. Uh, I think it was Robert Downey Jr. had only 18 minutes of screen time or something like that in, like, Infinity War or something. So 25 minutes is a lot for a movie that isn't even about him. Um, so yeah, I bet he get paid a lot. Uh, Garfield, I hope so. Um, Andrew Garfield is one of my favorite actors of all time. Uh, not because of Spider-Man or anything. He's just really good in everything. Uh, if you have a, <clears throat> excuse me. Ah. 
Good drink. Um, if you haven't seen Hacksaw Ridge, I strongly suggest you watch Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, his performance in that is brilliant. Also, Under the Silver Lake is really good. Um, his performance is pretty good in that, but the whole movie is really cool. Um, and also, uh, Silence. He has a movie called Silence. Uh, his performance in that was really, really cool, too. Oh, and The Eyes of Tammy Faye that came out this year was really good. And Tick, Tick, Boom. So good. So, so, so good. <clears throat> but I don't know. I guess we just have to wait and see. But I don't know. We have, what, 10 days left? Uh, what day is it? The 5th, right? The 5th. Uh, today is the 5th. No, today is the 6th. Oh, there's nine days left till I see it. That's incredible. Um, so there's ten days left until it's in pre-show, which if you're in the Oneana area, um, Southside Cinemas, which is the place that I work, um, is doing a pre-show. We're doing four pre-shows at 3 o'clock, 3.40, 6.30, and 7 o'clock. Uh, tickets are still available online at southsidecinemas.com, uh, so definitely stop by that if you're interested. Um, in checking that out. Um, <clears throat> tickets are pretty cheap, and I'll be there, so you can say hi. Uh, I'll be disappointed if they kill Toby and Spider-Man like they killed off John Connor and the new Terminator. I haven't actually seen the Terminator movies. I have them, uh, but I haven't seen any of them. I saw, well, I've seen the first and the second ones. Um, I actually think it would be a good idea to kill Toby off. And I've got a good reason for it, too. And that is that I think, I don't think the multiverse is over. I don't think the multiverse is done. Like, I think that we'll see the multiverse still continue to be a thing after No Way Home. Of course, we will have Doctor Strange in the multiverse and madness. But I think it's important that we wrap that character up because if he shows up for this movie and not for any other movie, we'll, we'll know it's a contract issue, and that'll take people out of the movie, in my opinion. But um, I think that killing him off is a smart thing to do, personally. Um, I don't know if they will or not, um, but... Uh, Oh, you didn't spoil it to me. You're good, you're good, you're good. Um, I don't really care about spoilers uh, because I'll forget, mainly. Um, but also, uh, w watching movies for me is a, like kind of an experience. And I don't know, I, I don't think that anybody could spoil something for me. Like, if somebody were, were to tell me that, like, Toby and Andrew are going to be in the film for sure, like, I've seen the film, um, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be mad. I can see why someone would be mad, which is why I don't spoil things so I can help it. Um, but I'm never, I'm never upset about it. Um... I don't know. I know that a lot of people have strong feelings about it, but I'm never upset about it. But I have to be careful because, like, at work, I can't, I can't talk about like newer movies at work because uh, people could be going to see them. Um, like, I can't talk about Venom because we have Venom in the movie theater still, which is ridiculous, by the way. Um, that's been out since October 1st. It's been over two months since Venom came out, we still have it at our movie theater. And I can't talk about it while I'm at the movie theater because people are there to see Venom still. Like, we're still selling tickets. It's incredible and really frustrating. Um, if you haven't seen Venom yet, I recommend you do before you see your way home, by the way. Uh, oh, favorite type of music. Good question. Um, I love alternative rock. And a lot, you might be familiar with it if I, like, more if I call it, like, punk rock. Um, but I call it alternative rock. Um, whatever term you like to use for it, it's fine. Emo music. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of Panic at the Disco. Um, I, Fall Out Boy's fine. Simple Plan is really, really good. Um, Sleeping with Sirens is probably my favorite band at the moment. Um, but I listen to some other stuff too. Like, Ben Platt is, uh, probably my favorite independent artist. Uh, he's got really good music. Um, <laughs> I do like pizza. I like pizza a lot. I like tacos more, though. Tacos are, are more better. Um, and there's this one album that came out um, by Olivia Rodrigo this year that I am particularly fond of, which it's definitely, like, not my type of music. Like, if you think about me, like, don't think that I like to listen to, like, like Taylor Swift. I don't like Taylor Swift as a person, um, but <laughs> the pizza emoji, nice. Um, but, like, I like the album of Olivia Rodrigo. Uh, I think it's, it's called Numb. It's not called Numb. Sour. It's called Sour. Um... That album, in my opinion, is perfect. Um, it's just so honest and real and emotional and correct. Like, it feels like a, the most relatable piece of media that's come out this year. Um, I just, I think it's brilliant. I really do. Um, but that's not really the kind of music I like to listen to, really. It's, it's, 
I prefer harder you know, emo stuff, but I really, 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 really enjoy um, Rodrigo's album. I have it in my car. Um, I, I have Britney Spears. I actually haven't listened to Britney Spears since I was like a really young child. Is she like putting out new music? I know she's like in the in the news a lot um, about being free from is it conservative conservatism or whatever. Um, I try not to watch that kind of news if I can help it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I didn't listen to a whole lot of Britney Spears. I listened to a little bit of Gwen Stefani when I was like really young, um, like Great Escape and stuff. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge... Like, if it's on the radio, I probably don't listen to it. Um, although Ben Platt's, one of his singles made it on the radio, and I was really proud of him. Um, not that he's not famous or anything, but he hasn't been on the radio since recently. Spice Girls? No, nope, haven't listened to any Spice Girls. Um, not that I don't think I would like them, because I think I think I have heard some of their stuff. But I, I don't. I haven't really listened to them, listened to them. So I, don't, I guess I don't really have an opinion on the Spice Girls. Um, uh... My friend Julian, shout out to Julian, he just texted me asking me if I had seen the Across the Spider-Verse trailer, and uh, yes, I have. If you guys haven't seen that, I recommend you do at some point. Um, they, re they announced uh, Into the Spider-Verse 2, which is going to be called Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, um, and it uh, it's a part one, so there's two films to go, um, at least, so that's really exciting, um, but yeah. Uh, ever seen the show Work Workaholic? Yeah, um, I haven't seen it. I have heard of it. Uh, I forget who's in it. There's a famous person in it, at least one famous person. Um, I've been meaning to get into that actually, uh, just simply because I heard it was really good, and it seems like my kind of show. I might die here, honestly. Uh, I hope I don't. Though. It's really good. Really good. No, okay, I'm dying. Okay, I'm okay. Um, yeah, Workaholics like seems good. I've I've heard good things about it. Um, I just I haven't actually. Um, been able to check it out yet. Oh, let's play as Magdalene here. Um, yeah, I, I think it's something I'll definitely check out in the future. Um, it seems like something I, I would enjoy. Um, although I guess I could be wrong. Summon bombs. I feel like if we have reusable generation, we should keep it. Um, that's only gonna take that. Unfortunately, I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to. Uh, just because it's better for my uh, character here, but I should probably kill that part. Okay, I can't um, But yeah, I mean, in my car I have uh, Panic at the Disco's Death of a Bachelor. Um, I saw Panic at the Disco live a couple years ago, it was really nice. Um, I have Olivia Rodrigo's album, I have uh, Ben Platt's newest album, I have Dear Evan Hansen, also starring, starring uh, Ben Platt. I like show tunes a bit. Uh, as I was talking about earlier, I like musicals. I like to perform in musicals and stuff. At least I used to. Um, so I like listening to show tunes. I like seeing them in my car. Um, I have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, uh, but that was just because I, I got it when I bought my car because I needed a CD, and I went to Walmart to buy one, and I have... I, I They didn't have anything good. So I was like, well, this has marble on it, so I'll just by that, and I used, I listened to that for a while, um, even though it's not really my kind of music. Um, me and my dad have very similar, like, tastes in movies a lot. Like, I like a lot of the movies he grew up on in the 80s. Um, I think 1984 is probably the, the golden year of film, in my opinion. Um, but we do not share the same taste in music at all. I don't like 80s music at all. Like, quite literally, almost at all. Um, I think it works very well for the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. Um, but it's not something that, like, I like listening to, like, in general. Um, were you dressed as Spider-Man? Um, when was I dressed like Spider-Man? I dressed like Spider-Man a lot. Um, <laughs> I actually, uh, I have right here, I'll show you the pants of it. Um, I have my Spider-Man onesie, uh, that you might have seen in my, uh, my, uh, 150 subscriber special where I dressed up like Spider-Man went to Walmart, which is a really good video. Uh, check it out if you're interested. Um... And, uh, I'm dressing up as Spider-Man to go, uh, to see Spider-Man, uh, No Way Home. Although I do have to advise, uh, if you're going to the theater to watch it, which of course you probably are because you can't watch it anywhere else, um, you can dress like Spider-Man all you want, 
Uh, just know that you're going to have to take your mask off. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm not going to have to because I'm going to see it with friends in a private theater. But um, just be aware that if you are going to this like Spider-Man to see this movie, which a lot of people are planning on doing, uh, just be aware that that is going to be a problem. Um, I'm so excited to watch this film. I'm excited to work while other people watch this film. Uh, which is like something that no one else is sharing with me so far. Everyone's like, I don't want to work that week. And I'm like, I want to work that week. Because I just know the energy is going to be up there. Everyone's going to be happy and excited. And I love that feeling of like excitement. But I don't like feeling nervous. Like I, I have really terrible stage fright. And so like I get that like kind of nervous excitement. And I don't like that. It makes me scared. Um, uh, I do have a baby face. I shouldn't cover it anyway. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cover it though. I have a mask. I'll show you the mask actually here when I'm done with uh, when I'm done with this room. I'll uh, I'll show you my mask and it's pretty great. I have gloves too. I spy my gloves. I'll wear I'm wearing the whole thing uh, to see the movie because it's good stuff. Um, these guys are annoying. Like they're not difficult. They're just really annoying. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um. Taking a lot more petty damage than I wanted to, but that's fine. Ooh. Oh, damage up. Ice. Um, yeah, it's, uh, ooh, ooh. oh, I'm tied up in cords. Okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah, I got my mask right here. It's, uh, not gonna lie to you, it's pretty great. Um, I'll try to play a whole room with it, although I don't know if you'll be able to hear me with it on, but, uh, yeah, this is my, uh, this is my Spider-Man mask, um, I like it a lot, it's pretty cool, um, it's your Tom Holland one from Homecoming, so it's, it's pretty cool, um, it's, it's still not my favorite thing that I have in the collection, like, I've got other things that I think are a lot cooler, like, I have a miniature set from Spider-Man Far From Home. Um, I have, I have this really cool, like, helmet that can, like, retract, and, like, it's really cool for, um, The Punisher. Which, if, if you haven't watched The Punisher on Netflix, you should, because it's really good. Um, yeah, the mask looks really cool. It is really cool. I like it a lot. Um, dude, I, I swear, it was, like, $14 on Amazon, and they have a bunch of customizable ones, so, like, if you're in the market for a Spider-Man mask, uh, that's where I would go. Um, <laughs> Jeffrey Bezos has a beautiful stockpile of Spider-Man masks, um, so, uh, yeah, it's a cool mask, I like it a lot, uh, I wear it a lot, which is really silly, because, like, I don't go anywhere with it, I just, like, I'll sometimes just put it on and, like, lay down, <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm Spider-Man, <laughs> like, it's, it's a really strange thing that I do, <laughs> but, uh, it's fun, I enjoy it, I have a good time, uh, thank you, Top Secrets, um, I appreciate you. um, it is a cool mask, uh, and it's so cheap too. Like I just, I I bought it. When did, when did I buy it? Um, I just bought it because I wanted it. I think uh, when I was living with my parents still, and uh, now I have a reason to have it because I wore it for my 150 subscriber special, and then I also wore it. I'm gonna wear it for uh, um, the. I'm gonna wear it for the no way home premiere. Yeah, baby face. Yeah, I know it's rough. I like it. Uh, all right, so. Like yesterday's stream, I didn't shave for yesterday's stream um, because I don't like shaving. It's a lot of work for me. It's just, I don't. It takes too much time. Um, but like when I don't shave, I look like a thirty-year-old fat man. Like I really do look like a thirty-year-old fat Italian man. Like I look like Tony Soprano, and that's okay with me, honestly. Um, and uh, yeah, so I have. I have that going for me. Um, <coughs> bless myself. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I shave when I try to look... Oh, my gosh. I have a fun story for you guys. So, on the last day of school, every year, I try to dress up and look nice, right? Like, I try to... Like, not to impress anybody, not for any particular reason, other than... I think it makes me feel better about myself, and it feels like a sign of respect, right? So I get up this morning, and I go to put on my shirt that I wear at the end of the year, and, uh, like, it barely fits. 
So, like, thank you, Chapter Guys, for blessing me, uh, FMIC. Appreciate that. Um, so the issue that I had was that it is really hot in upstate New York right now. Like, I don't know where any of you guys are, but, like, in comparison to normal, um, it is very warm today. Uh, it's normally, like, 20 degrees, and, like, that's my weather. I love it. I love the cold. I prefer the cold. Um, and so I wake up this morning, and I put, I put on this, like, dress pants and, like, this long sleeve black shirt, and I'm looking good, although it is a little tight, so I, I bet I didn't look particularly great. And then I get to school, and I'm sweating my ass off, and I'm like, why did I do this? Like, like there's, there's no good reason for me to do it, um, other than I just feel like that's what I wanted to do. And so I, I just, then I, 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 on my break, I went home, and I, I changed clothes, and I changed some shorts. Uh, you're in California? Ugh. <laughs> it's not like really hot in there. Oh, are you guys? Are you in that section of California that's on the like the water band thing? Like where you have a certain amount of water, like a, a limit that you can drink. Um, I heard that that's happening in California uh, because of the drought and the wildfires and stuff. Is that like, as a Californian, are you like do you know like what's with that? <laughs> like I don't. I I've, I read about it somewhere. I don't know if it's necessarily true or if, or if it pertains to your area of California, but, uh, anyone ever grab your face cheeks? Uh, no, actually, and the main reason is because I don't really have an extended family. Like, I have my mom, my dad, and my siblings, and my siblings do not touch me, uh, because I know I don't like being touched. Uh, my, my sister, Bree, uh, she's my related sister. She hugs me a lot, and that's fine, I like that. Um, but, uh, no, I don't have, like, aunts or anything. Like, I do, but I just don't talk to them. Um, or uncles or anything, so I, I don't have anybody touching my face. Uh, yeah, wildfires, that's crazy! You live in an area with wildfire, that's... Oh my god, stay safe. I mean, that's... Uh, but you're not restricted on water, that's good. Um, that's good. Uh, I, I'm scared to live in California. Like, I'm not gonna do it. I, I thought about it because it's closer to acting, and when I was younger, I wanted to do that, so I thought California would be a good place. But it is way too hot over there. It is way too hot. Um, I very much prefer... The cold. So I feel like I couldn't live in California. Like, isn't it like, it's probably like, what, 70 degrees over there right now? Like, it's probably not good. Fresno. I think I'm familiar with Fresno. I feel like I know where that is. Um, in terms of a geographical standpoint. Um, but yeah, that's good. So you're probably not near a whole lot of trees, because that sounds like a pretty big city, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so that's good. Um, that's, that's good. Um, I don't think I can live in California. That's... I think it's too hot there. I don't even know what the temperatures are. Like. Maybe the temperatures are fine, but like I ain't never seen no snow in California. Um, like I never, I never look at the weather and think, oh, it's gonna snow there. Unless it does. Is it snow in California? Because like, then I mean, that might change a couple of opinions of mine. But if it can't snow, I don't think I can live there. And it's not because I like snow, because I don't really. I, I used to love snow. I don't like snow now that I have a driver's license, because uh, driving in snow is awful. Um, but uh, uh, would your face turn red if you got hot? Yeah, it would. Um, and it does sometimes, actually. So in my videos, um, so I have this fan right here, because I like to be cold. So it's blowing on my face. My, my microphone's over here with my camera. And so I have... Uh, I have this on me, so you don't, hopefully it's not too loud. Um, but when I'm filming my YouTube videos, I use my iPhone for that, because it's got a 4K camera, and the microphone's a lot better, so I can't film with that on. So then, if I film like seven videos in a row, then one of the videos, or two of the videos towards the end, I'll be very warm, because I'm moving around a lot, and I'm talking, and I get very warm. Uh, and then, yeah, I do turn a little red. Uh, no snow, yeah, I couldn't live there. I don't think I... So, like, you've never built a snowman. Like... That's awful. Like, I I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I mean, building snowmen is great. I, so my friends at the movie theater, we wanted to do a thing where we were going to build snowmen right before No Way Home. So we were going to meet up, because we're, we're watching No Way Home on the 15th. And we're going to meet up at the back of the movie theater, and we're going to build snowmen. Um, but now it doesn't look like it's supposed to snow that week at all. So it's like, that's really sad. Lowest you get at night is 55 degrees. I'm sweating in 55 degrees. If it's 55 degrees, I'm sweating. Um, like, I don't put a sweater on until it's 20 degrees or below. Like, I... No. Nope. 
if it's not for me. I get it. Like, a lot of people here, like, when it gets below, like, 60, they'll put on sweaters and sweatpants. I like wearing sweatpants, but that's more of a style thing for me. <laughs> um, but, uh, it portrays the exact amount of care I give, which is very little. Um, so, I get why people are cold. Like, I, I can see why that might feel cold to some people. It's not for me. That's so hot. That's so warm. I'd be dead. I would absolutely be dead. Um, I'm going to visit California at some point. Um, I want to go in that area. I want to visit Hollywood. Um, but um, probably not for a few years because I'm going to go... I'm going to Washington, D.C. Um, in July with some friends of mine. And uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm doing that in July. I'll film a video about it, hopefully. Uh, and then... I'm going to visit, um, I want to go to Virginia next summer, then the following summer when I graduate, I'd like to go to England, and then maybe I'll go to Hollywood the year after that, but the goal is to go on vacation every summer, if I can afford it, which is the plan. Uh, New York City is freaking beautiful. It is awesome. Uh, it is one of my favorite places in the whole world, uh, to visit. I say that with a very specific, uh, standpoint. Um... Visiting the city is a great, wonderful time, especially if you've never been. I've visited many times. I love it there. It's one of my favorite places. Um, I could never live there. It looks awful to live there. Um, and it's just because rent is like, must be like thousands of dollars for a small room. Um, it's not a great place. Um, so I don't, I don't like, uh. I, I wouldn't want to live there, but visiting absolutely is beautiful. Um, my name is Robert. That is my actual name. Yeah. Um, which, I gotta tell you, I'm not happy about. I don't like how my parents named me Robert. Like, no shame on them. I'm not gonna change it. I feel like it's disrespectful to change your name. Uh, it's just like, I, I would never do it. I would never like be like, Mom, I'm changing my name. Um, but yeah, my name is um, uh, Robert. Robert through the years. Yeah. Um, that is my official name. Is Robert Brown. Which is like the most generic name that anyone's ever had, uh, is Robert Brown. I just feel like that's really frustrating to me. Um, it's just so bland. Um, ooh, this is neat. Cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I, um, I wish it was like anything else. It works a lot for the YouTube channel though. Like I can do like Robert's Ranks, Robert's Reviews, um, and it like kind of sounds nice. Um, but like, I don't like saying Robert. I just feel like it is generic. Tell me it's not generic. Tell me, like, like there are so many Robert Browns in this world that I just feel like I'm stuck in this loop of, of like, just so many people know it that I don't feel like I'm my own person. Like, I just, does that make sense at all? Or like, I'm, I'm, I'm probably overthinking it. I'm sure I am. But like, I just feel like that's, it's generic. I'm like, my middle name is James. Like, that is the most, like, ridiculous thing I've ever come across. Is that my name is Robert James Brown. That is the most generic name for a white guy I have ever heard. And it's really frustrating. Um, I could have been named anything. And it is Robert James Brown. It's so frustrating. Um, like, there are a lot better, like, even John, like, John is a cool name, I like John, John, like, I like, I like saying the word John, um, there's not a lot of Roberts either, like, yeah, James Potter's great, I mean, he's, like, James Potter, like, see, that works, I guess, James is a better name than Robert, I like James a lot, it's a cool name, I wish, when I was younger, I wished I was named James, um, but then there's also James Brown, so, like, I can't be James Brown either, because it's too, like, it's too popular. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Is there Hispanic people in New York? Yeah, there's absolutely there's Hispanic people in New York. Um, there's, New York is the perfect place for, like, anything. Like, there's, everything is in New York. We are a, amalgam, uh, we have everything. Um, I do have a lack of experience with, um, uh, with like diversity, because a lot of people are white from around here. Like in Norwich, like everyone was white. But here in Oneonta, I mean, we have everything. Uh, you're Mexican. That's awesome. Uh, 
do you make homemade tacos? Like, do you like tacos? Um, and I don't, I don't, I hope this isn't racist, but like, I love tacos. Like, I have, you can't see it right now because my camera's tilted. I have taco stuff everywhere in here. Tacos are my favorite food. And like, do you notice a different? Like, if you go to Taco Bell, is it different than when you make tacos? Because like, I make tacos at home a lot for myself, homemade. And I just, I don't know, I don't know. Like, it just tastes like Taco Bell to me, and I don't know if that's normal. Um, you do? Okay, great, 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 great. Um, so you like tacos? That's awesome, dude. Tacos are great. I love tacos, dude. Like, and I don't know a whole lot about Mexican culture, although I do know a bit about Spanish culture in general, which I guess is that. Uh, pizza's delicious. Pizza's, pizza's probably my second favorite food. I have, you can't see it because my body's blocking it. Perfect. Um, I have a bunch of pizza boxes back there. I had pizza the past few days. I've just been like, I bought like three pizzas, and it's lasted me like four days. I just bought them, and I was like, all right. This is what we're eating this week. And that's kind of how I, I eat food, is I buy, I, I make a bulk meal. Like, if I make spaghetti, I'll make, like, two pounds of spaghetti. And I'll just eat spaghetti for four days straight. And nothing else. And I'm not really sure if that's the healthy thing to do, but that is what I do. Um, it's cheaper. Like, I don't have to buy multiple meals every week. I just gotta buy one singular meal that'll last me many, many days. And, like, as an adult, it's, like, that's what I do. And I don't know if that's... I'm sure most other adults have different things that they do, but that is what I do. Um, uh, you were born here. I'm sad because I'm not that familiar with my family. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you, like, celebrate, like, Dia de los Muertos or anything like that? Um, I've always wanted to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. Um, it just looks like so much fun. You, like, go to graveyards and... You dress up with, like, skeleton stuff, and, like, make rock candy, and, like, you celebrate the dead. And I just always thought that was super cool, um, that they could do that. Because, like, if you were to do that here, you would get arrested. Um, like, if you walk around a, a, um, a cemetery dressed as a, you know, as a skeleton playing the trumpet, like, you'd get arrested here. But in Spain, on that day, that's completely normal, and I love that, because... I'd love to do that, you know? It does look really cool. Like, I learned about it a lot in school, and I thought it was really, really sick. Um, I think Golden Touch, what does that do? I'm not sure what that does. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really cool. But I can't I can't celebrate it, because I'm not Mexican, so like people, people would be really freaking confused if I were to play my trombone or my trumpet or my French horn in a cemetery dressed as... <laughs> as a skeleton on the day before um, the day before uh, Halloween. Uh, Ron's Tale. I think I've heard of that. Is that the one with Colin Farrell? Or is it, no, that's a Winter's Tale. Isn't it? Maybe it's Ron's Tale. I don't know. I don't think I've watched it ever, so I don't own it either, which is scary. It doesn't mean I would own it. But uh, good for you. Yeah, my favorite movie, if I had to choose one right now, um, I think I would have to choose... Hacksaw Ridge. Um, I just think it's a perfect movie. Um, it's one of the best movies ever made, in my opinion. Um, and I just I really like it. I don't think it's it's ever consistently my favorite movie because, like, I'll obsess about a movie for like a month and then forget about it. But I think Hacksaw Ridge is like the one big movie that I watch like consistently. And like my favorite holiday, like I just bought a bunch of holiday Blu-rays for um, Black Friday. So, like, now I've got, like, Elf and the Polar Express and, um, all of those old movies. Robert De Niro! I love Robert De Niro. Um, he was great in, like, Joker and the Red. Oh, was that the guy? Was he the Red? Pretty sure he was the Red. But I think he was. It might have been Dustin Hoffman. I'm so tired. Uh, I think it's Robert De Niro, though. Um, he's great. He's really great. Um, I'll probably do a De Niro series at some point down the line, but not for a couple of years, probably. Um... Good night, Nate. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'll see you Friday, I would assume. Um, for that. And then I think we're doing the Krampus one shot at some point this month. Um, I think Jake said somewhere around Christmas. So. That was a lot. Um, so, that'll be really fun. We, we've done this. Now, uh, let's fight this boss. I really don't know where we... Okay, it's Chubb. 
Trump's not too bad, although I am slow, so it's probably not great. Okay, that did a lot of damage to him and me. Um, ah, make it scary again, make it scary? I probably should drop Lemon Party. Yeah, Lemon Party OP! Okay, 6 p.m.? It's only 6 over there? What? Um, yeah, it's it's 9.13 right now. Um, so it's, it's, so then, ah, just like, like, just like Hawkeye and stuff, like all the Marvel stuff, that probably drops at midnight for you guys, because I get it at 3, yeah, I get it at 3 in the morning, so you can actually get it at midnight, that's really lucky. When I have to watch, like, Hawkeye or, like, Falcon Winter Soldier, like, all those finales and stuff, um, I would stay up for them, and so it would be, like, I would, I would have to stay up until 3 and then watch it. And then that would get done at four, and it really sucks. Uh, do I have a girlfriend? I do not currently. Um, I'm not really looking for one either. Um, I had one for a while. I had one for three years, and uh, it didn't work out. Um, and it, it just uh, it made me realize that I don't really need a girl like to be okay. Um, I I discovered that. I'm pretty good on my own, mainly because they can be expensive sometimes. Like, I, like, ever since I've been single the past year, um, I've been able to save money and buy Blu-rays, and, like, if I can find a girl that, like, wants to, like, sit down and, like, watch movies all the time, and, like, that'd be great. But, unfortunately, there's not a lot of them in the market right now. Um, I'm not really sure why, um, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, which is fine. I'm totally cool with it, um, but yeah, I'll probably meet somebody, uh, uh, probably meet somebody, uh, um, meet somebody down the road somewhere, maybe, um, maybe with my job or with school, um, but yeah, I'm not really worried about it right now, um, I don't have time for one right now, like, that is for certain, especially if I end up doing this show, um, this musical, um, I barely have time for... A job, let alone a girlfriend. Um, so I've just been kind of staking it out by myself, um, and so far so good. I haven't had a, um, I haven't really needed one at all. Which, not that I think that you need one. I don't think anyone really needs one. Um, I also don't necessarily believe that everyone has to be with somebody. Like, there are a lot of people that are like, oh, well, there's always that one person who's like meant for you, and I, I disagree with that. Um, just on principle of, like, I really don't think... Like, I think if you want to be by yourself forever, that's totally acceptable. Um, and not that I necessarily want to be alone forever, because I don't. But, like, right now it's... Right now I do. Um, right now it's it's good for me, is where it's at. Because, like, when I'm in a relationship, I tend to... I found that I tend to make that my priority, which is good! Like, I think that if you are in a relationship that, you know, your loved one should be your priority. I just, I know that I don't have time to make that a priority, so I've just been, I've been mainly focusing on YouTube. YouTube has been my main priority. I think, I think it was for me, it's, it's job, then YouTube, and school, which is wrong. It should be school above YouTube, but school isn't too difficult yet. I say yet because I know it's going to get more difficult um, the longer we go. Um, yeah, with my babies. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm sure I will. Yeah, I'm adorable, you know. Um, but I don't know. I don't really care. It was like the big. I guess the big thing is like I don't really care. It's like it's like alcohol. Like uh, I, I'm in college, right? I go to SUNY Oneonta, and uh, State University at Oneonta, New York. And uh, the big thing here, it, it, it's it, it's kind of a party school. Um, the big thing is that everyone goes to, um, like, parties and stuff and, like, smokes weed and drinks alcohol. And I, I haven't done that yet. Um, partially because I haven't been invited, but also partially because I don't really care. Um, but yeah. Oh, what time do I go to sleep? That's a f fantastic question. Um, on normal days, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, I am in bed, I'm going to sleep. I get up at 7 o'clock just about every morning. Um, because it's good for me. Uh, I get 8 hours, usually. Um, but the past, like, five days, I haven't been able to get to sleep before, like, 3 a.m. 
So I've been up really late recently, and it's not like I'm doing anything either. I'm literally just like sitting there. Uh, my baby face cheese. Yeah. Um, I literally I just like sit there and I just like stare at my ceiling for like three hours. Uh, it really sucks. It's frustrating. Um, but I think I think I'm gonna get better at it just because I also normally nap a lot. Like when I get home from school, I'm usually like I'll watch a movie, and then I'll go like right to sleep. Like I'll literally I'll just like put on a movie and then watch the entire thing, and then fall right to sleep afterwards. Which is great, except that then I'm ex I expect myself to fall asleep at 11, and I don't. So it's really frustrating. But I didn't nap today. It's actually a big reason why I'm streaming right now. is because I knew that if I was streaming, I wouldn't fall asleep. Um, so I decided it would probably be best if I streamed um, before bed tonight. And then... Um, I, I won't nap, so I should, in theory, sleep pretty well. I'll probably get up like 8 or 9 tomorrow, because I don't actually have to do anything tomorrow. Like, I'm meeting with a friend, I'm going to dinner with a friend, but we always do that on Tuesdays. Uh, so, like, that's normal, and that'll be at night, so it takes forever from now. Um, I gotta watch, I gotta finish Sing tonight, so tomorrow I'm gonna watch a bunch of Christmas classics. I actually, hang on, I'll show you, it's pretty cool. Um, maybe, if I can find it. Um, uh, oh, yes. Ah! My headphones came out. This is awful. I can't hear anything. Okay, my headphones are disconnected. I couldn't hear anything. I don't know if you could hear anything, but uh, they're back. Um, I have this steel book. I got it at Walmart. It's pretty great. Um, it's got a bunch of Christmas classics. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen a steelbook. I realize that this is something that like not everyone talks about. Um, it's like a tin case, and it's all art for uh, the the thing. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's got like all the discs and stuff from all the Christmas classics. So I'm gonna watch ideally like most of them in one day, um, and I'm gonna review them on the channel the week of Christmas. Um, so, that'll be what I do for my Christmas special this year, is I'll do that. Um, so I'll probably do that tomorrow, and then film, like, 13 videos. Um, because I've watched a lot of movies in the past, like, four days. Because my, my boss kept giving me movies to watch, which is great, because I'm loving them. Um, but now I've got a lot of, I've backtracked with you. Uh, it is, it is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer review coming out, um, the week of the 25th at some point. Um, but yeah, it, it's got, uh, I'll be reviewing... Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frost the Snowman, Santa Claus Coming to Town, Little Number Boy, and Cricket um, on the Hearth, which I've seen all of them when I was younger, and like growing up, my mom would always play them like right after we'd open presents and stuff. Um, but I haven't seen them in a while because, like, when you're an adult, like they stop doing Christmas as hard as they used to. Uh, so like we barely would even like open presents anymore. Uh, so we didn't watch the things for a few years, so I don't I don't remember a lot of them. Um, I love the style of the animation, though, like the stop motion kind of, like almost Tim Burton feel. I love that, so I'm really excited to watch them, uh, probably tomorrow. Monstro 2! Okay, here we go. Okay. No big deal, we can do this. Um, but yeah, that's a Steelbook. Steelbooks are super cool, I have a bunch of them. Uh, it's definitely my favorite, like, collector's item, uh, is Steelbooks. I think Steelbooks are freaking fantastic. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but they look super nice. Um, and a lot of them are in 4K. Like, this one was Blu-ray, um, but a lot of the, a lot of them are in, uh, 4K. And 4K is beautiful if you can, if you have a system to do it. Um, grow a full beard. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can grow a full beard, actually. I don't think I have the capabilities. I'm gonna die here. Um, like, I, I sincerely don't think I could if I wanted to. Um, I'm gonna back here. Um, I used to do it a lot for like, um, uh, No Shave November, I used to do that. Uh, if you look at my old videos, um, like if you watch like my Hacksaw Ridge video, um, I have, like, that's about as close to a full beard as I can get. Um, grow a mustache. I don't, I actually, I probably could grow a mustache. I, I, I just know for a fact that I would look like a pedophile, and I don't need that, um, Paul Blart's not. 
<laughs> He's like half a full Paul Blart mustache. Uh, a 20, 20 year old in college with a Paul Blart mustache. That'll really get the ladies. I'll have a, I'll have a really fat baby face and just a Paul Blart mustache. I love it. <laughs> That'll show them. Uh, we'll do another challenge, I guess. Let me go play one more thing, and then and we'll wrap it up. But we'll play, uh... These last, like, half an hour. So, we'll do, uh... Hmm. Uh, what is computer savvy? I know that I am not computer savvy. Oh, God! <laughs> I have lasers! <laughs> <laughs> You're getting drunk. No, 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 no. There's no, there's no alcohol in this. Um, I have, I own no alcohol. Look, I'll even show you. I'll show you, um, I use, ugh, this is heavy. This is my soda stream. I just put water in this thing, and then I press this button, and it, it puts fizzy stuff into my drink. And then I put, um, I grab, uh, oh, these little droplets. And then it makes it taste like strawberries. And there's no sugar, no calories. It's really good for you. Um, but I have lasers. So there's no alcohol, but I do have lasers. Oh my god, these are awesome. There's no way I die here, right? There's no way I die. There's no way I lose. They're curvy lasers! <laughs> this game is awesome. It's so cool! Um, uh, but yeah, soda streams are super cheap too. Like, I don't know if you've ever heard of Like, I, I heard about them, I just never had one. But then when I, like, got, was an adult and then got my own, I, I'm renting a room for my friend. But, like, it's my own little place, technically, this room. Um, and I was like, you know what? I need to stop spending money on seltzer. So I was like, let me just have my own way of making seltzer. Um, and that's what I've been doing. Um,. Uh, the poet mustache is a cool idea. Yeah, um, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna, I was gonna say, in a certain amount of subscribers, I'll, 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 uh, I'll grow a mustache for, for uh, like two months. But that's a bad idea. Um, <laughs> imagine that though. I just like show up one day at school. Like if I do it like over summer break, I show up at school and I just have this Paul Blart mustache. And like, not that I have any friends, but I really don't. Like I have like my roommates and like they're my best friends, and I don't really know anybody else. Um, he can't hurt me for me. Um, but like, if I had people I knew at school, I would show up and they'd just be like, what is going on? Um, and that would be great. That'd be really funny. Um, also awful. It'd be, it would also be awful. But, uh, I can't imagine, like, eating with that. Yeah, it's like No Not November, but with a mustache. It's like No Shave November. I did No Shave November last year, but I didn't do it this year. Um, I don't really know why I didn't do it this year. It just kind of, November came and went. Like, it was really fast. Um, it was November and then all of a sudden it was not November and I was like, whoa. Like, this entire semester has been really quick, which is good because I'm taking really difficult classes and I'm ready for them to be done so I can take a break from thinking forever. Um, I get like a month off. Although if I'm doing a show, I don't really get time off and it really sucks, but I can play. Uh, did I, play? I did, actually. I always participate in No Not November. It's important. It's important for science. It's important for um, health reasons, um, I do, I do participate in that, as you always should. Um, if you don't, you're a quitter. <laughs> oh, ease bomb button, cool. Um, soul heart here, two soul hearts, let's go. Um, yeah, good times. Oh, here we go. This is easy with my laser beams. Cut out! Oh, wow, that. Cut out! Um, alright, where are we? Let's go down. Let's go down. Um, keep you, keep you. Ah. Oh, we got another soul heart. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful job. Alright, here we go. Um, Larry! Oh, that's gonna be easy. Look at how fast that boss went. Wow. Uh, 
All right, yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, tomorrow's Tuesday. I'll probably play tomorrow night. Uh, probably. Uh, like eight o'clock your time. Uh, so my face will be very smooth. Um, but yeah, I'll, play, I'll probably play around then if you wanted to hop on by. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow I will be posting my review for Belfast, which is uh, the newest movie this month. So uh, if you're interested in that, um, definitely stop by. Heart, have a good night, buddy. Um, sleep well. I will hopefully sleep well, um, but we'll see how that goes. I don't have the best track record this week, so. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this guy. Boop, boop. Nice, nice. Okay. Alright, we got we got Wrath. Is it Wraith? Was it? Wraith? Wrath? Why can't I not hurt the Oh I'm in a bad position. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I should get out of here. Okay, okay, okay. My lasers are unstoppable! Woo! Um, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's go down. Kill these guys real quick. Kill the things that come out of it when it dies. Oh, are you kidding me, bro? <gasps> Sad. Actually, it might be better if I just spam the button instead of... I don't know if that helps, but maybe it does. Um, okay, uh, let's go over here. Oh yeah, that's an easy clap. Lasers. <laughs> cool. Oh, we're gonna get this. Here we go, heart. Cool, very cool. Um, alright, here we go. We got some of this bad boy stuff. Okay, um... Pull it down. Um, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Go down again. Uh, that's not worth it. I said we just rush this boss, we just get her done. We're doing so well with our lasers that this should be easy. That's on me, that's my fault. I could have moved, I probably should have moved, but I felt that I was doing so well maybe I shouldn't have moved and then I didn't and then I got hurt, so that's my fault. That's my fault for not looking at that part of the screen. Uh, but he's almost dead, so we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, all right, so let's grab this. Grab the speed up, which is not good actually, because I'm so fast now. I'm almost on trouble, but that's okay. We're gonna do so good. We're gonna get out of here. Um, all right, I might actually complete this one without dying, so that'd be really cool. Um, all right. Uh, oh boy. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Ow. Uh, the levels. I took you. Stop going here. Uh, cool. Uh, security. Cool. Oop. That was not worth two keys. That's for sure. That's for certain. Um. I got some bomb stuff. That's not good. I'm gonna make sure we kill these things while they are not close to me. Or do. That's fine. Uh, no biggie. No biggie at all. Oh, there we go. We just, we were just in this room. Alright, let's... Oh! That brings you over here. I don't know what that means, but that's pretty cool. And the game is mine. There we go. Um, we'll go this way. There's the boss. Why is this taking so long to get to the boss? Show me the boss. Take me to your leader. Uh, we're taking a lot of dumb damage. I should be a little bit smarter. I should play a little bit smarter. I don't need that coin. I need the boss. Show me the boss. Uh, okay. This should be easy. Fantastic. Show me the boss. Where's the boss? No boss. Oh, God! That was easy. What's this one? It blows the power. I have a power. Uh, we'll go over here. 
Still no boss, you kidding me? Ah! Ah! Right, we're fine, oh, troll bomb, no thank you. Um, still no boss, this is unusual. This is an unusually large map. Good news is we know exactly where he is though, because he has to be over here. What does the lovers do? Okay, that wasn't helpful. Uh, okay. Choo choo. Here we go. What is it? It is mega fatty. Me too, buddy. Alright. Um. I think this guy, like, sucks you in, maybe? Or something? And then he shoots at the boop. Ah! That was fast. That scared me. Uh, yeah, there it is. What is that? And then he shoots at the boop. I'm just gonna avoid it real quick by spinning around here. He's halfway dead. I need to get, like, a damage up. Uh, power up. That's what I need. Mean. That'll be. Are you kidding me? I ran into him? I hit myself. Um. That's okay. We're doing okay. We still, we, we still have full red hearts, so. And he's dead. Alright. Fantastic. Um, we got an angel room. This is awesome. This is really good news. Um, we'll take this, uh, two different shots meet up. And, uh, we'll go ahead and grab. Invincibility at a cost? That's interesting. Um. Go ahead and bomb these in hopes that we get um, a soul heart. We did not. Very sad. Um, and that's okay. We're going to head down here. I don't know what Invisibility of Cross does, but um, we'll see. I'll use it on a boss. Probably. I'll probably be able to use it for it, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't know what it does, so I don't want to make sure I use it at the right time. Um, okay. Ah! Well, okay. uh, we're still at full health though, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Are you kidding me, bro? You guys are annoying because like, it takes so long to kill. You also never know how many there are. Like, there, were some, there, were, there was one more there than I thought there was. Which is fine, but like, it's really annoying. Uh, okay, it's actually pretty good. Uh, having lasers here is really helpful for these guys, because normally it takes a long time to kill those guys. Um, take me to the boss. Where's the boss? Ah! Speed down. That's really good, actually. That's really good for where we are in the game. Uh, let's, let's kill this guy. Let's get these guys, hopefully, before they jump at me. Ah! Uh, might as well just grab these coins. No real reason to, but might as well. I don't really know why I walk in this room. I knew it was going to be pointless. If you ever see a room like this, it always, like, it always means that there's not going to be anything helpful in the room adjacent to it. Right, let's hopefully go into the boss with full health. That would be ideal. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, there's still a chance to get a heart out of this room. That'd be really nice. And it's a dime. Okay. Or a nickel or whatever. Um, I haven't fought this guy in forever, so hopefully he's not- Oh, there's two of them! Oh, that's different. Um. Ah! Um, send help, send help, send help, send help! Ah! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Everything's fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! <laughs> You're kidding me! Uh. Well. That was really fun. I had a really good time. Thank you for everyone who's showing up, particularly uh, uh, Conejo, uh, Conejo, I think it's Conejo, I think I think it was the correct pronunciation, um, and Topsy Kretz and uh, Nathan Oliver for showing up and typing in the chat. But thanks to everyone who watched. Um, feel free to subscribe, comment uh, down below, anything you want to see me scream, or stream, not scream. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll probably stream again tomorrow, uh, probably around nighttime at some point uh, maybe during the day if I'm feeling bored but definitely at night time uh, so I will see you guys then um, but thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next uh, in the next video maybe if I can get if I can, if I can how do I get out of here there we go um, 